it's cute up here so hopefully i can make it happen <laughs> What's up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me video because I have nothing else um so those of y'all that know I just moved and it has been just a lot going on for one I'm starting with my brows already done because y'all know I'm not the expert and it takes me forever to do my brows but today we have some um we're basically all like moved into the house already, but there's still like just a couple things that need to be picked up from the apartment and we have furniture that needs to be bought. So I need somebody to come buy my old furniture because I have nowhere to put it other than my garage and I'm not paying for a storage unit. So there's that. So as far as an update kind of to what has been going on, I've just been getting moved, getting settled in. This has honestly been like the most seamless move that I've had. I haven't been like really stressed about moving necessarily other than the fact that I'm missing one box. There is a box that has, there's a box that has um, my iPad, one of my iPads, cause we have so many iPads around here and I have my back, MacBook, y'all know I wasn't gonna lose that. But I have, a brand new iPad. The iPad that um, was included in my tuition from esthetician school. So I have that and my planner, which was like my lifeline, but I was like really getting organized. I have that in a box and I cannot find that box. That and some other stuff. And I have the box marked office. I cannot find that box anywhere. I don't know what to do. I even cried about it. What, last night, the night before? Like, I don't know where that box is. And I trust my movers. Um, I know they don't have it because there was there was three movers and then the guy that actually runs it. And I know that they check, you know, the truck or whatever. So I'm really gonna. And we just went to the apartment too, so I don't know where the box is. I don't know where it is. I don't know. Just knowing at the back of my mind that I'm missing something is like stressful. So anyway. So I guess I will talk about the products that I'm using today. Not talk about, but just let y'all know. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Rivera palette. Um, I'm feeling purplish today, so I think I want to be cute. I think today I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to actually put time into my makeup. So let's see if I can do this on camera because y'all know. Okay, just zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so. I went into my crease. Y'all know I like doing like a brownish kind of neutral kind of crease and that was coastline. Now I'm going to go into my crease as well with Mediterranean, which is like this glitter purplish silverish kind of color. So I'm going to put that in my crease and then I'm going to go into my lid with Canis, Canis, Canes. So, oh, that's Ready. So my best friend tagged me on a video on, um, on, what was it? Was it Instagram? I think it was Instagram. Not really going viral, but I guess a uh, popular topic right now is this black man don't cheat, um, stuff. And she tagged me on a video where this girl really took the words out of my mouth, right? So I'm going to tell y'all my little, uh, two cents about that. I feel like I have to really focus when it comes to like color like this because y'all know I don't do color a lot at all. I should have put some setting powder because this glitter is getting everywhere. And the sun is out today. Oh yes, my makeup is about to be cute. Okay. This is what we're looking like so far. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna do a cut crease, so I guess I am gonna be kind of lazy today. But um, I'm gonna go in with this purple color onto my lid. Yeah, today's gonna be a lazy day because I'm not doing lashes either. But this wing that I'm gonna do, it's cute up here, so hopefully I can make it happen. So uh, the girl was talking about, you know, the black man don't cheat situation, right? And 
it's cool. You know, there's some of y'all out there that don't cheat. But I feel like what guys need to realize, and guys are just like sharing these other guys post about it. Like, yeah, yeah, we don't cheat. See, there's, see, told y'all type situation going on. But it's like, us women need y'all guys to understand that just because you don't cheat don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't gonna say it don't mean nothing. But that is like very basic in a relationship for women too. Like, we can't just go around saying that we don't cheat and expect guys to be okay with that. You know what? Then again, guys are so simple-minded, they will be okay with that. Women, were not so simple-minded. So, just because you don't cheat doesn't mean that you have great communication skills. That you're honest about everything else. Just You just happen to, don't, to not fall into another woman's areas. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you a good provider? just because you don't cheat doesn't doesn't make you just the perfect candidate for a relationship and honestly while we're on the subject about what black men do and do not do do and do let me brag on my man real quick to anybody that cares so this is where we at before I get started. When the wing goes on, it's gonna all come together. But anyway, let me brag on my man real quick. So, yeah, now we just moved into our house. Like, when I tell y'all that this man literally knows how to do everything, I mean that he knows how to do everything. I believe that this man could probably build a house. And I never knew that I was, you know, he keeps showing me things that I didn't, I, that I never knew that I was attracted to. So, any, this man is, he's everything. Like, at, at this point, and, and I'm also feeling this way because, like, I've been so, like, in love lately because, you know, we just moved into our first house together. But, in a couple days will be our little one year anniversary. So... Okay, I need to focus on my liner. Just hold on. Okay, here's the wing. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Okay. We're gonna get it together, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can see. Hopefully, I do it right. And don't mind my one lash. I'm waiting on it to fall off. Ooh, it's gonna be dramatic yes okay every time I do my my wing liner it always I put so much into it only to step back and see that it looks like a baby liner a baby wing I don't want that okay Yeah, I'm gonna put some glitter on there so that's the reason I'm not connecting it all the way up but I'm gonna do my other eye be right back a lot better in my wing ladder anyway so to finish bragging uh, so to finish my little brag so like this man literally knows how to do everything right so weird which i knew that but i guess because we were in an apartment we didn't have much that needed to be done um or really even the space for him to do like little projects and stuff i didn't know what all he could do but when we talk about certain things it just be like, oh you just need that that and that and that shit you can do it and i'm like okay sound good but we get in the house and this man's doing everything like just my old dining room set i was gonna sell but the new furniture that got delivered of course i turned our dining our new dining 
set i turned our new dining room set into a formal dining and i just told myself oh whenever we sit at the table i'm just gonna i'll move all this decor every time we sit there he's like you're not gonna do that every time you sit down and my friends were like you're not gonna do that every time y'all sit down and eat so you need to move that table over here put your put you something else like a breakfast area so i'm like okay well it wouldn't be smart for us to go and just buy a whole new table like for what this man sand down the dinings because he knew i hated it i hate dark wood at this point i've lived with so much dark wood furniture i'm so over it this man sand down our dining room table stained it and just has to put clear like completely restored my dining room table that we have like a um we have like a back um cover thing to the backyard that the previous owner i guess whatever they broke it something fix that he's just constantly bolting and mounting mounted all the tvs in the house i'm just like looking at him work like oh god like come come here just come here Ugh. just uh whatever you know that's just me i just i find that very attractive and i didn't even know that that attracted me because i never had a man to do it i've always had a man that's like oh i could pay somebody to do that or whatever like work a little bit anyway so i'm done with my black wing and i'm gonna go over it with this like purple uh what pink pinkish kind of situation and to tell y'all what is happening do i need to come let you in so y'all um what did i use so i used my rivera palette and then i'm all over the place y'all should see my vanity right now this nyx um what epic ink liner that's really it in black this has been my baby i haven't really graduated to gel liner yet i although i did go and get some from nyx and it it works you know but i guess the dipping and the pudding and then the reapplying it's just a lot so i feel like ink liner may be better for me i don't know i'm uh, y'all know i'm trying to you know anyway so just yeah like he's just been very very just so sexy and scrumptious to me lately you know but anyway back to this so um i'm gonna put this over my black liner um and honestly i need to i really want to get into like my cut creases more because i'll put this like over my cut you know y'all see but anyway it's still gonna look good it's just gonna be a little like glitter line over the black so cute y'all know this is outside of my little element but it's cute okay now the other you hear that Oh no, I messed it up. Well, it didn't dry. How it looks. I feel like it would really, really come together if I were to put on lashes today, but I don't feel like putting on lashes today. So there's that. But um, anyway, so to finish the whole discussion about uh. The guys saying they don't cheat and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, there's 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 really more to a relationship. So just because just because a man says that he doesn't cheat, you know, that's not the end all. You have not found the perfect man just because he said he don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? He could be manipulative. There's different things that you need to look out for. So not cheating is like the basic of the basic. Like it's not hard to not fall in nobody else's vagina. Sorry, I'm trying to get out my primer. Dang, I got a lot in here. Why is it acting like this? 
I'm using the um, Milk Hydro uh, Primer and I love this stuff. I love it. Oh, and something else I've been wanting to mention. Not putting foundation on my forehead. So, I know that, uh, yeah, if anybody watches makeup videos or you have a favorite YouTuber or something like that, everybody's kind of talking about this now where they do not put foundation on their forehead. Just wanted to tell y'all that I have done that too and it works. And the reason it does is because your forehead is the darkest uh, part, portion, whatever, on your face, right? So really, I guess essentially you're trying to get the rest of your face to match your forehead. So you're putting, it's like you're, you're going, you're, it's not needed. And another thing, you're putting a lot of foundation on your forehead is what creates that kind of masky, um, cakey look because you can see where your makeup ends, where your scalp kind of starts. You know what I'm saying? It's just really not needed. It sounds crazy or whatever, but I'm just saying try it because I tried it and it works for me. I feel like I should put on lashes with this. I don't feel like dealing with lashes today. I got to unpack stuff. It's like I'm trying to look cute, but like I ain't going nowhere. So, um... Also, something else that I wanted to share. So, you see how it does not look cakey at all? So, I use whatever's on my brush and then I kind of just go over my forehead only to help blend it, but not adding product to my forehead. Hopefully I'm making sense. Something else that I wanted to tell y'all about is the fact that um, I am now monetized on YouTube. So yeah, I told y'all that I got monetized in two months. Um, and they normally say it takes like a year and all this other stuff, right? So they, uh, wait, no, I told y'all how I reached the mark which I did. I reached the mark. I reached my thousand subscribers and uh, 4,000 hours of watch time, right? So I did that in two months, no problem. But what I did not tell y'all is that I reached, um, so at, at that point is when you get sent to YouTube for them to uh, like, what is it verify monetize your channel so that is what it takes to get monetized but then your channel gets sent to youtube and then they review it make sure you know you're not cussing like crazy you don't have anything like crazy on your channel or whatever and then at that point they will approve you for monetization i got approved for monetization so everything that i do now i am earning money from I have not received my first uh, payment yet um, because I'm still learning how the whole threshold goes. I know for a fact that I have to make $100 before they will even cut me a check. So Google AdSense does not cut checks for less than $100. So, um, and I know I am, um, I'm close to that amount. It's actually pretty confusing. So as soon as I get the gist of everything and really how it goes, I will let y'all know in case anybody on my channel wants to go start their own channel. You know, I'm all about helping. So I was actually, I was looking at it this morning before I started this video and it's pretty damn confusing. So I really don't even have all the answers for that, but it's just an exciting moment for me because I did it in two months and they reviewed me and it came back fast. And now it, it just feels like I'm working towards something now. You know what I'm saying? Um, something really stuck with me recently because I read somewhere that the average millionaire has seven sources of income. And 
it just pushed me you know it just pushed me that to to really like try to make this an extra form of income that is something that i hinted at in one of my previous videos so i just wanted to tell y'all what i was talking about going in with my fenty beauty bronzer and honestly i went backwards as hell because y'all know i normally do my powder first but i haven't really been that oily lately um so i don't really need that much powder but to help create that look you know i'm gonna go ahead and add some so anyway that was my hourglass um veil setting uh powder where is it and my fenty beauty bronzer in beige and gel that's the one that i use i wanted to try caramel cutie it's a little i think it's a shade darker um a lot of uh, beauty girls that i watch they actually mix the two so Just bronzing it up, you know. And also something else. I have been a blush girl lately. I have been putting on my blush, baby. My two blush palettes that I'm currently using. I got one from Sephora, which is very cute. That's kind of like my everyday. It's this one. Um, and then I have this Delazi one, which is like more pigmented so i don't really use this a lot i mean i use these two but they see all those other colors how freaking hot they are like uh awesome and of course my camera just cut off my camera would not be my camera if it did not cut off in the middle of every single video so anyway um yeah that other blush palette i did not go into at all that's like a really it's so pigmented like i can't use that one so i used these two out of this palette and i was gonna go with a nude lip but instead i'm going to go with a pink um gloss so i use kind of this like hot pinkish to line my lips and i'm just gonna go in with my pink lip gloss and i'll be done oh well, i need to put mascara on but i'll be done i'm not gonna do lashes oh wait i want to do i wanted to do okay i know what i'm gonna do I want to go in, where's that purple? Okay, let me do something. Let me do something. I'm going to do like a line outside of my um, black liner, like a real quick little, you know, ding. And mascara and I'm done I'm cute okay I just need to figure out what the hell I'm I need to do with my hair I never do my hair ever I think I'm gonna put some uh flexi rods in it tonight and see what it do I really need to start doing something with my hair I don't do shit with my hair ever ever I don't want to do too much mascara because I have those lashes hanging on at the top. And I don't want to like make those show too much. Highlighters so that I can shine even though I'm not going anywhere right now. I'll probably go somewhere later. And boom. Alrighty, y'all, that is all for this chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, make sure that you like and subscribe if you have not already. I'm gonna go and continue to unpack all these boxes. Um, at least I'll be unpacking looking cute while I'm doing it. Actually, I'm lying. This hair is going back in a bun. I probably will put some flexi rods in it later and look cute tomorrow. But anyway, catch you guys in the next video.